Hello and welcome back to Firewatch. So uh, last episode we did day one and this episode we're going to do day two. So what have we got around on the desk? We've got day two. Uh, um, oh my god. I have to, okay, we'll do, read, read what we set up. Let's pick up the radio. Okay, so we'll do either once. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Okie dokie. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay, alright. Alright, okay, so it's a ground, so I've cleaned up. Okay, I do not have a pillow. That must be super uncomfortable. Okay, <laughs> just chuck my own shit around. Um, so I have stuff. Glass cleaner. Glass cleaner? Oh no, it's that. Oh, fucking that. Put it back. Okay. Um, space puffs. Nice beans. Water jug. Dish soap. Nothing useful. Pie goods. Coffee percolator. Bleach. Uh, <laughs> nice. My fireworks. Um,. Right, okay, so what do we write in this this one? Uh, sleep is going to be a real problem without making this a list of all that's happening all the all the time. For Henry from the future. What? For Henry from the future. Uh, this was the night your tower got turned over and your sheets were gone. Going to have to figure out what to do out there today because last night wasn't good and I'm fucking freezing. I was 100% sure I wouldn't have any jewel, Jules dreams out here since I was sleeping in a new place and I fell asleep around 5am. There were. Oh, dang on. But sure enough, during the thir the thirty minutes, I fell asleep around five. Did it? They're back on the bench. Oh wow! Wow. Okay. Okay. It's getting depressing. Mug. Photo. What's this? Photo of his missus. Old paper. Two orcs map. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid uh that sounds erroneous looks like the previous resident was into fantasy okay put that back keep that for later there's some treasure some treasure on there Flora of Shoshone. Ah, oh, Shoshone National Park. Truck Alaska. Right, okay. My broken window. Yeah, I need to fix that shit. Okie dokie. So let's head on out, partner. Do, do, do. Down we go. I wonder if my baseball's still at the bottom where I left it. It is! Ha ha! Take my baseball on an adventure. Right, so I came this way, so I'm gonna go down the cliff. Ooh, that wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower. I know, right? Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah. Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. Okay, okay. Down to the cave. Ah, okay. Uh. Goodbye, baseball. Oh, it's been fun. But we're going on an adventure now. You can't come with us. It's too dangerous for you. 
I can't expose your young mind to the dangers of the cave. Ooh, cold money fuck. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Hmm. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Okay, we annoyed her. Did not mean that. Well, now is important, because the fucking gate's locked. Uh, for access, key available at Ranger Station, Dubious, Wyoming. Okay. The only issue with this map is I can't fucking see it. Oh no, I can't see it, I'm just being blind. Uh right, um Old climbing gear. I need freaking the key. Where exactly am I going? Is it this way? I am lost. I'm just like hiking in the wilderness now. I think it's gonna be this way. We still annoyed her. I just don't want to talk about my wife yet. Like I don't know this woman. Like I don't need to talk to her about my freaking wife with dementia. Yet. She doesn't know me. She's not my friend yet. She's my boss. She acts weird. I'm just gonna have a nice little morning hike through the woods. Aha! Telephone pole. I did go the right way. Yes! Oh. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? <laughs> Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Okay. Cabalays. Oh, I saw something I could radio about. Oh. Uh, hey, I can see your tower. I suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. The Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. 
I'll get used to it. Been a bit of a night owl for a long time now. Oh, it's fine. I mean, fires don't really start until 11 a.m. or so. Seriously? No. Good <laughs> Lord. I just thought maybe it was one of those things like how earthquakes only happen at sunrise and sunset. Oh, uh, that's not true either, Henry. Jeez, we're really letting anyone in these days. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh. Man, it's just a nice little wilderness relaxing explorer game. With a nice little conversation tied into it. I like it. Oh, hang on. Ah, there's my issue. I can see it. Oh. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. I can see. I can see from here that there's, there is an issue <laughs> there. Dear. Right. Uh, I keep forgetting to toggle back on ro jog just because... Oh, ooh, I want to go see what's in the cache as well. Do we do that first? We do that first. I think. Can I clamber up here? I cannot. Do I have to run around? I do. Let's go pick up some stuff. I need some climbing gear anyway, because my rope broke. 302. One. Two. Three, four. What we got? Cache 302. We've got some more trail information. Some pictures of trees. Dave. Hey, uh, I got your note about meeting to talk. I'm sorry I didn't, tra uh, didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon and rip on uh, grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos, professionals. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go go to, go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great at the life stuff. You get it later, Ron. Pine cones aboard. Oh. Six feet down under by Richard Seven. Cool. Pine cones. Pine cones. Okay, so like nothing really good in that one at all. Put the board back. There you go. Oh, did I not copy it? My bad. Okay. Close that. Awesome. <clears throat> and now we head up the mountain. But we need to go this way to do that. Du -du -du. I think, at least I think. But now when we look at our map, we've got roots. Yes. See, we're getting more and more trails like added up to our map. I do not like the way it like, untoggles your run every time you freaking stop, which is a bit annoying. But it's not a massive deal. Alright, that looks like something we can climb up. It's an odd color, surrounded by colored items, which probably means it's time to go this way. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How can these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. <laughs> right. Fucking beer cans. Oh. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Ah, let me pick up the beer can. 
No, game. No, oh, OCD. OCD drive was. Uh, that triggered me. Oh, I can pick up the beer cans. <laughs> I can't be. I can't be the woods janitor I was born to be. Uh, yeah. Okay. The wires down here. Okay. Good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Pick up my beer cans. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. <laughs> I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. I'll okay. dig into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Right. So I mean, like, the lake that we went to yesterday is there. Like, I'm way, like, all the way up here. Cut calm wire. Okay. Yeah, so where's, where's my tower again? Two forks look out, so I just need to head south. So I just need to head south. Like, generally. Which is the direction I'm heading, funnily enough. Right. That's just a utility pole. Okay, so we can't get that way, that way so we're going to have to go, like, this way or something. Okay, I can't get out that way. It's not that way. Hmm. I need something to clear that with. I need something to clear that with. How do I clear the trail? Obviously, I need to find something to clean the trail with. Tool I yet... Oh. Nope, nothing in there. Hmm. Can I just, like, walk over this? This seems like I can fucking just, like, step over that shit. Okay, obviously not. So I'm obviously missing something. But what am I missing? Is the question. Hmm. Nope, nothing over here. See, I've already looked in there. There is nothing useful. It's sunny out. At least it's like early morning. It's odd that I can't report that. I should would have thought that she had some sort of comment on it. 
I need something to clear. Oh, oh, beer can. Beer cans. I'm going the right way. We will clean up my beer cans. Cleaning up my beer. I'm cleaning up my beer. Man, freaking. How can they drink so much? Like, I mean, I was a teenager, don't get me wrong, but like, Jesus, I, I can drink that much. That's a ridiculous amount. Okay, so this is where we can like clear the tra so can I clear the trail from this side maybe? Like is that what it is? Ah, so I can pull it in. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever increasing list of responsibilities. <laughs> I thought so. We're gonna need like a machete or a weed whacker or something. So this red flowers, this seems like to like the color seems to like dominate like the way to go. It seems to be what they're using is color. So we can always be on the lookout for a damn nice view. Okay, we're gonna take the long drop. Awesome. Thoroughfare lookout. Two forks. Fly lookout. Jersey Lake. This is the way. tell you all this climbing and jumping it's pretty invigorating just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day okay Whoa. made it there's an abandoned pack out here and it's not one of the teens no it looks like it was lost a long time ago well you could always pilfer it for supplies yeah, we will. I have a camera. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. <laughs> Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so we like, have to think about what we want to do with that camera, because I think that's going to be pretty cool. Oh, man. Yeah! Let's do some repelling! Let me repel. Repel! <laughs> Now I can climb that later if I need to, which is good. I like it. It's useful. Oh. More climbing to do. I want to go see what's in that box. I see fire. Thin column of smoke. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. 
A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Will do. Will do. Wonders are in this one. Some more map information. Uh, Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? Uh, no, not that. Should, should heal Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went to check on the new guy at Two Forks and had him talking to himself. More than usual. For lookout, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you say, saw Chimney Rock ha having himself in that... Ooh, having himself in the hammock. Starting to think that first ever speaks any the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb on the spot, Ron. Okay, what we got in this one? Fossilized claw. Uh someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Well, maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. <laughs> Nothing of use. Okay. So, like, now when I look at my map, I have. Okay, so I'm gonna, gonna I'm kind of going back this way. I'm making decent progress. Okay. Hang on. What was the, what, what was it actually saying on this map? Supply, supply, cash. Uh, cash two for one. Yep. Two folks look out. The Thunder Canyon. Bear sightings, six bear sightings, good climbing. Yeah, we got, we did the good climbing. And then what was that? Uh, third fair look at and food supply drop. Cool. So nothing, nothing of massive use. Continue hiking. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. I'm actually married. <laughs> but you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. So she's away, but I can call her now. Okay, so like this is obviously what we're trying to stop. There's this old forest fiery business, you know, with the old I'm firework. I'm a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? Do you like that? This guy is the freaking king of the flapjacks. Yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. It's all yours. I'm starting to like this woman. was that did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push when it comes to you know how the hell you ended up out here
I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. <laughs> Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, well, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. Oh, you're talking about that um, giant fire that probably caused some damage. Turned a, an entire jamboree of brownies to dust. Brownies don't have jamborees. Well, they should. And you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, do you? I do not. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ooh. Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. Jesus. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks. Cool. That helps. Awesome. But sorry, I'm like I'm being quite quiet, but there's like there's a lot of talk in this game. I don't think you need me to talk that much. I mean, I'll just uh, I'll I'll chime in, and I think we'll just do we'll just do like days at a time. Like we'll just do big long episodes of days at a time. That's how this will work. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Jesus. Too real, game. Too real. Still heading in the right direction. Still going the right way. Enjoying some wilderness. Nice little river. Happy little streams. Happy little trees. Um, do I want to jump up? No, I'm starting to head north there. I want to keep going west, so I want to keep going this way. Or go to the lake. Don't know. Yeah, I want to get towards the lake. Aha! like an animal. Ducks. She fucks father cat. Okay. Hang on a minute. So I'm by the lake, right? We went there there last time. First move, so I need to head like. But then if I'm heading. Am I heading in the right direction? Or do I need to go around the. Yeah, I must need to. I must need to head down this way and then. Maybe. Like this way? No? I don't know whether I'm getting the right way. I, I might be getting the wrong fucking way now. I 
need to head like south. I need to go this way. Somewhere. Oh. Nice music kicking. Am I just going completely the wrong fucking way? How do I get down there? Unless I was supposed to take that, like, that path along the uh, north side of the lake. Aha! No! This looks like the way. Get trailing. Rarely have I been this excited for, like, an adventure game. Like, I don't know, I don't tend to play a lot of the, like, games, like, um, like, yeah. things, oh, man, I can't remember what the name of the voice is, man, like, it's, like, they, like this is usually, they're usually, like, scary games, the, 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 this one was once, it's, like, you're exploring things. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace <laughs> of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was, because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, oh, you were brave. <laughs> I was drunk. Ha! Ah, we are in the right direction. We get a map as well. Maps are good. One, two, three, four. What do we got? More pine cones. Oh yeah, these are like the font of fucking knowledge, aren't they? Okay, what we got? Uh, the lake. Uh, we got Five Mile Creek. Waterfall. Two folks look out. Okay, so we just got more. More trail information. Cool. Right. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I, did I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yep. I can splishy splashy through the stream. Man. This game is gorgeous. Utterly, utterly gorgeous. Am I headed the right way? Not that I really mind. Where am I? I'm down here. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, I'm going the right way. Let's just, let's just meander through here, shall we, team? Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that Oh, wow. That waterfall is pretty. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Let's get all hipster with it. That was a nice photo. Cool. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. I think. Yeah, we can start heading this way now. No. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. 
Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> so these girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Can I take the bear? I want a bear. I want the bear. Can I just take my sheets? Oh wow! Have whoa. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um. I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull elk, if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Okay. Let's go take a picture of that note up close. Okay, what does that say? Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped up on us at the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. And stealing our panties is gross. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk or some over some fireworks, dick. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? The girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? I'm threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's its okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Okay, well, that was day two. So we'll just let it load up, get the teaser for day three. Okay, so we are fixing up our shattered home. So with that, I think we'll call it there for this episode, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you liked it, please click like. Hey, if you want to subscribe, please click subscribe. Yeah. Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> oh, well, we'll just finish this one because this is a deck. Um... <laughs> I could be Tom Cruise's good looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I wrote in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now, let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Uh, 
pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. <laughs> Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. God game. Let me have some time to end episodes. Jesus, thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next episode.